Getting 100% completion in a video game is an achievement earned by only the most diligent of players. Normally you have to collect every optional item, complete every side quest, and in some cases even hit the end credits on a game multiple times in order to see everything there is to see. Some games signpost pretty clearly what it is that lies in wait for the enormously dedicated players willing to hit 100%, but in other cases it can be a total shock. In this list we're covering off on the latter, when whatever part of gold lay at the end of the rainbow was a total surprise. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 things you didn't expect to happen when you 100% a video game. Number 10, Ending E, Near Replicant Remake. Near Replicant Remake or Near Replicant version 122474487139, yeah, you can see why I went with Remake, has five endings. In its original release back in 2010, it had four endings, the last of which could only be achieved by playing through the game multiple times and collecting every weapon available in the game, upon which you could see the ultimate of ultimate conclusions, where Kaine's shade begins to take over and you need to defeat her, after defeating the Shadow Lord. Sacrificing Nier to make Kane human again, which requires you to literally delete your save, will grant you ending D. Flash forward 10 years to the remake and now there's another ending you can achieve, but to get it, you have to have gotten all other endings up till this point. Ending E revisits ending D, but in this place, through when you first team up with Kaine, a sequence is triggered where you'll become Kaine, visit the Forest of Myth, meet up with Emil and Vice, and get the option to resurrect your ending D save file. You'll need to defeat a recreated version of Hook to make this happen, but afterward the Forgotten Nier is reunited with Kaine and Emil, so that's pretty cool for a very, very hidden ending 10 years after the main story was told. Number 9. You Got Mail – Super Mario Sunshine The Mario games are a masterclass in providing fantastic all-ages challenges, joy, and satisfying game experiences that are sad to close the book on. How fortunate then that in Super Mario Sunshine you got a 100% completion reward that was so bad it really cushioned the blow of finishing the game. If you did put the time in to collect all 120 shine sprites in the game, which is no small task at all, you're granted an alternate ending. Instead of the standard ending which shows you a picture of Il Piantissimo finding the magic paintbrush, you get a group group photo of Mario and all his NPC pals standing above the phrase, have a relaxing vacation. If you're thinking to yourself that sounds worse than the first option, then you'd be among the majority. So there's a surprise for your daunting effort. Not a great surprise, but a surprise. Number 8. A Fond Farewell – Red Dead Redemption 2 That one was kind of a bummer, so let's crack into an entry that covers a 100% completion surprise that didn't bum us out. Okay, this one did bum us out, but in like a nice heartfelt way, not a I did all that and all I got was this stupid photo away. Alright, so the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2 casts John Marston as the protagonist. This serves two purposes, to set up the original Red Dead Redemption and because, well, Arthur has succumbed to his illness or been taken out by other means by this point. It really is one of the most painful deaths in video games, and for those of you who spent enough time with him to hit 100% completion, it's gonna hit even harder. In a game this big, that's not an easy thing to do. To be fair, you don't have to do absolutely every little thing as that would be nigh on impossible, but you can see how close you're getting with the completion counter in the pause menu. Essentially you'll want to cross off practically every stranger mission, find every collectible, and round out the hunting and fishing missions. Once that counter hits 100%, you'll get to see a short cutscene where John is seen standing by Arthur's grave in Beecher's Hope. He says, guess we're just about done my friend. He jots the same words in his journal with the addendum, it's been quite a journey. It's only a short but a sweet surprise and much like the rest of the game it manages to say so much and have such an impact without saying too much at all. Number 7. The True Ending – Prince of Persia Warrior Within The true ending for Prince of Persia Warrior Within is not only the canon option which sets up the narrative for Prince of Persia The Two Thrones, it's only attainable if you find all 9 life upgrades scattered throughout the game granting you access to the optional water sword. Some might say it's a little bit unfair to have locked the true and canonical ending behind Find a secret completionist gate, but for those who did manage it, it's a pretty cool surprise. Instead of the traditional boss fight against Kylina, the Empress of Time, who the prince 
must defeat in the present, achieving 100% completion will initiate a confrontation with the seemingly invincible Dahaka, the guardian of time and true antagonist of the game. The prince realizes the water sword can damage the beast and after a hard fought battle does ultimately manage to best it. After that, the prince and Kylina hook up and the prince dreams of Babylon burning, which is the same thing that happens in the original ending, but this time everything is set up for the sequel. This is probably very disappointing if you got all the way through and realized you got some random ending and not the correct one, but a great surprise if you scooped up all those life upgrades ahead of time. Number six, a new vigilante, Batman Arkham Knight. You've either never heard of Complete Nightfall Protocol and probably won't want to know any more about it after this entry, or the words strike agony into your very soul because collecting all the darn Riddler trophies in Arkham Knight is a full game in and of itself. To achieve the true ending of Batman Arkham Knight, you have to apprehend every single member of Gotham's Most Wanted. That includes the rotten Riddler, who is a huge hassle to find given you have to find every single collectible in the game to get a one-on-one -on -one with him. There are hundreds of these things. Pull it off though and Batman does what he does in the original ending, that is, executing the Nightfall Protocol, which seems to mean blowing up Wayne Manor with himself inside. But you'll also get a scene that plays out similarly to the story of his parents being mugged in the alleyway, but this time the criminals accosting them are set upon by a pretty horrifying shadow of a bat in flames descending from the sky. The implications here are pretty massive and have been hotly debated. Suffice it to say, it was a massive shock for those of you suffering from 100% Riddler trophy fatigue. Number 5. Do it all again. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Usually when you hit the end of a game, you get to sit back with that smug feeling of satisfaction, maybe have a relaxing vacation. Not in the case of this one, where you just have to do the whole game again. The reveal isn't quite at the 100% point, but it's where you'd naturally assume the 100% point to be. Let me paint you a word picture. You're playing as Alucard, son of Dracula, exploring Dracula's castle, after the prior hero Richter Belmont went missing. A woman named Maria is also seeking Richter. Basically, you can hit the end game and kill off Richter who's decided he's the new lord of the castle, or you can don some magic glasses given to you by Maria and reveal that an entity named Shaft is controlling Richter. Then boom, you find out it is not the end of the game after all, and actually the castle turns upside down and you need to go through it all again. Also, everything's way harder. Surprise? You're welcome. Turns out the real ultimate battle is between Alucard and his resurrected father Dracula in the reverse castle. Number 4. A bonus stage, Sonic Adventure 2. If you manage to obtain all 180 emblems and A ranks on every mission, there's something really special waiting for you. Dot every I and cross every T and you'll unlock a bonus level which is, in essence, a 3D version of Green Hill Zone Act 1 from Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a really special treat for fans of the original original and an excellent surprise for those patient enough to attain it. The level is really faithful to the original, only swaying the player's path in certain points in order to help it adapt to existing on a 3D plane. It's the best kind of surprise, the effort is substantial, but the reward is totally worth it, especially since no one knew it was coming. Number 3. Bigfoot – Grand Theft Auto 5 For a while, Rockstar was determined to tell us there was no Bigfoot in GTA. Then GTA 5 came along, some players were determined enough to 100% it and proved there is in fact a Bigfoot in GTA. This is Rockstar we're talking about, so as is the case in Red Dead Redemption 2, you don't have to do literally everything to hit 100% completion. What you do have to do is knock off 69 story missions, 20 side missions, 14 random events, 42 hobbies, and 16 random tasks. Then the game gives you the green light that you're all done, and what do you get for your trouble? Well, this is GTA 5, so lots of cool stuff. You'll get the opportunity to attain a golden payout plant, which lets you hunt and eventually become Sasquatch, putting a pretty darn satisfying footnote on the does Bigfoot exist in GTA legend. Beyond that, you'll also be able to spot UFOs at the top of Mount Chiliad and hovering above Fort Zancudo and Sandy Shores, so that's pretty awesome. Also, Franklin gets a t-shirt that says 100% on it, so let me know down in the comment section if that's cooler or less cool than the UFOs and the Bigfoot thing. Number 2. A joke ending with a canonical payoff. 
Drakengard. Drakengard is a lot and its secret ending is a lot, a lot. I apologize in advance if this all sounds Greek to you, but I think you'll appreciate it anyway. To get ending E, you need to complete all 12 chapters and collect all 65 weapons, which is an incredible grind. After spending the action RPG soaring about on a dragon, things wrap up with the big bad called the Watchers appearing and it turns out they're giant babies. Weird. Then you'll learn they're being controlled by the Mother, who opens a portal to modern day Tokyo, where you and your dragon fight her off by essentially versing her in a rhythm game. You defeat her because you're awesome and you've already 100%ed this thing, then the Japanese Air Force rocks up, shoots your dragon down, and you die impaled on Tokyo Tower. Then Mana's high pitched cutesy voice says, Thank you for playing, and you're all done. What's really cool about this is that this is the canon ending, which sets up the entire story and game world of Nia, and there are files in Nier Automata that explain what happened after the jets took down your dragon. It's pretty impressive for an ending you'd only hit organically by having an awful lot of patience. Number 1. Easy Mode – Mega Man 03 It's pretty widely known that Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze grants you the very tricky World 7 and subsequently Hard Mode if you can hit 100% completion on all its tricky collectibles and levels. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the reward for hitting 100% in Mega Man 03, which is an easy mode. That's right, while you can unlock a hard mode by completing the normal mode, you can only unlock easy mode, otherwise known as ultimate mode, by collecting all of the secret discs. Chances are you had a pretty rough time in this infamously difficult game hitting 100% in the first place. So what are you rewarded with? A chill god mode to do whatever you want in, where you can also unlock a bunch of mini games by satisfying certain requirements. I guess Capcom just wants you to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, have a relaxing vacation kind of thing. Well, I think I've worn that joke into the ground, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any more cool things that happened when you 100%ed video games. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.